Hey everyone, welcome back. Today's video covers a crucial topic, eight grocery items that could disappear from shelves soon. With recent global events and supply chain disruptions, certain foods might become harder to find. Number one, rice. Rice, one of the most vital staple foods globally, is facing significant supply chain challenges due to a combination of extreme weather conditions, geopolitical tensions, and rising production costs. The primary rice-producing countries, such as China, India, Pakistan, and Thailand, have experienced severe climate disruptions, including floods, droughts, and unpredictable monsoons. These events have greatly reduced rice yields, leading to lower-than-expected harvests. For instance, Pakistan recently experienced devastating floods, which inundated vast agricultural regions, damaging critical crops like rice. At the same time, India, which is responsible for over 40% of global rice exports, imposed export restrictions to ensure domestic food security amid its own weather-related challenges. Additionally, the conflict in Ukraine has worsened global grain shortages. While Ukraine is not a major rice producer, its status as a top wheat supplier has pressured other grain markets, including rice, as countries look to alternatives. The ongoing war has also caused disruptions in global shipping routes, making it harder to transport rice and driving up logistics costs. These factors have contributed to a sharp increase in rice prices, putting pressure on consumers and businesses alike. Countries heavily reliant on rice imports, such as those in Africa and the Middle East, are particularly vulnerable. Moreover, the increased cost of fertilizers, driven by global supply chain constraints, has further raised the cost of rice production, complicating efforts to stabilize prices. Although efforts are being made to address these shortages, experts predict that the impacts will be felt for some time, making it essential for consumers to prepare for potential supply disruptions. Number 2. Olive Oil The production of olive oil, a vital ingredient in many households, is currently under severe threat due to a convergence of environmental and agricultural crises. Southern Europe, particularly Spain and Italy, which produce the bulk of the world's olive oil, has been experiencing devastating droughts. These prolonged periods of dry weather have not only reduced water availability, but have also stressed olive trees, leading to lower yields. In Spain alone, some reports indicate that production has dropped by as much as 50% in key regions due to a lack of rainfall. This dramatic decrease in supply is pushing prices upward, especially as demand remains strong both in Europe and globally. Pests have also exacerbated the situation. The olive fruit fly, one of the most destructive pests to olive trees, has been thriving due to warmer temperatures. These flies infest olive groves, laying their eggs in the fruit and ruining entire harvests. In some regions, the combination of drought-weakened trees and increased pest activity has left farmers with little to harvest. For countries dependent on olive oil exports, this is causing serious economic concerns, while for consumers, it means higher prices and potential shortages on store shelves. Another critical factor is the rising cost of production. With lower yields, farmers are facing higher costs per liter of oil produced. Transportation and energy costs have also increased, driving up prices even further. Given that olive oil is a non-substitutable product for many culinary uses, from cooking to dressing salads, this shortage is likely to impact both households and the food industry significantly. Consumers may begin to notice both price increases and limited availability, making now the time to consider stocking up before the situation worsens. Number 3. Chicken. Chicken production is facing significant disruptions, primarily due to the highly contagious avian flu and skyrocketing feed costs. The avian flu has devastated poultry farms worldwide, particularly in North America and Europe, where millions of birds had to be culled to prevent the spread of the disease. This massive culling has drastically reduced the available supply of chickens, leading to noticeable shortages in several regions. Poultry farms, both large-scale and small, are struggling to replenish their flocks as the virus continues to spread among wild and domestic birds, which increases the likelihood of further outbreaks. The rising cost of feed, driven by global grain shortages, has compounded the problem. 
key ingredients in chicken feed, like corn and soybeans, are becoming more expensive due to ongoing supply chain issues, extreme weather, and geopolitical conflicts affecting major grain exporting nations. These costs have been passed down to farmers, making chicken production more expensive. This not only impacts the supply, but also the price consumers are seeing at grocery stores and restaurants. The cost per pound of chicken is steadily increasing, and experts warn that these prices could continue climbing as both feed and disease control efforts put strain on producers. In addition, transportation disruptions and higher energy costs are making it harder to distribute chicken to markets efficiently, leading to regional shortages. With fewer birds available for slaughter and rising production costs, the situation is likely to worsen before it gets better. Consumers should expect fewer choices in poultry cuts and higher prices on what remains available in the months ahead. Number 4. Coffee Coffee production is being severely impacted by climate change, threatening global supply and pushing prices higher. The majority of the world's coffee comes from Brazil and countries in Africa, where extreme weather conditions are becoming more frequent. Droughts, heavy rains, and unpredictable weather patterns are creating significant challenges for coffee growers. In Brazil, prolonged droughts have stunted coffee plant growth, reducing yields by as much as 30% in some regions. In the same regions, sudden floods have caused soil erosion and destroyed crops that had barely survived the dry spells. In African countries like Ethiopia and Uganda, coffee plantations are experiencing similar problems. Rising temperatures are causing certain high-quality coffee varieties, like Arabica, to struggle, as they require specific altitude and temperature conditions to thrive. Farmers are being forced to move their plantations to higher altitudes, but these regions are often smaller and less suited for large-scale farming. This not only increases production costs, but also limits the amount of coffee that can be grown. Compounding the issue is the increased presence of pests and diseases, such as the coffee borer beetle and leaf rust, which thrive in warmer climates. These pests are devastating coffee crops, especially in regions that are not equipped to handle the surge in infestations. As the global demand for coffee remains steady, the shrinking supply due to these environmental factors has led to price hikes in the international market. This creates a situation where consumers might not only face higher prices, but could also find certain varieties of coffee disappearing from shelves altogether. Number 5. Canned Tuna The availability of canned tuna is under significant threat due to a combination of factors affecting both its supply and the packaging industry. Overfishing is one of the primary issues, with global tuna stocks becoming increasingly depleted. Certain tuna species, like bluefin and yellowfin, are being harvested at unsustainable rates, leading to stricter international regulations on tuna fishing quotas. These new regulations, aimed at protecting marine ecosystems, have already begun to limit the supply of tuna available for canning. The reduced quotas are making it harder for producers to meet global demand, leading to fewer tuna products on shelves. In addition to overfishing, the tuna industry is also facing challenges from rising production costs related to packaging materials. Aluminum, a key component used in the manufacturing of cans, is experiencing significant shortages due to supply chain disruptions and increased global demand. The aluminum industry has been impacted by everything from labor shortages to energy price spikes, resulting in higher costs and slower production rates. This shortage of raw materials is creating bottlenecks in the production of canned goods, including tuna. Environmental factors also play a role. Tuna populations are affected by ocean temperature changes, which influence their migration patterns. Warmer waters can push tuna into less accessible regions, making fishing more challenging and expensive. Furthermore, illegal and unregulated fishing continues to be a problem further diminishing tuna stocks and complicating regulatory efforts to protect the species. For consumers who rely on canned tuna for affordable high-protein meals, the combination of overfishing, tighter regulations, and packaging shortages could lead to higher prices and less availability in the near future. Number 6. Eggs Egg production continues to suffer from the effects of last year's severe avian flu outbreak which led to the culling of tens of millions of birds, 
particularly in the United States and Europe. The strain on egg supplies is still evident, as poultry farms struggle to recover their flocks. The loss of layers, the hens responsible for producing eggs, has been immense, and replacing these birds isn't a quick process. It takes several months for young hens to mature and start laying eggs, which means supply remains tight. The slow recovery is compounded by the ongoing threat of new outbreaks, which continue to impact farms. The cost of feed is another factor driving up egg prices. Global feed prices, particularly for grains like corn and soybeans, have surged due to supply chain disruptions and adverse weather conditions affecting major growing regions. As feed is a significant portion of poultry farming costs, farmers are facing higher expenses just to keep their remaining flocks healthy. This, in turn, pushes prices for eggs even higher at the consumer level. In addition to biological and economic factors, logistical issues also play a role. Transportation disruptions, labor shortages in the farming and food distribution sectors, and rising energy costs have further complicated the supply chain, making it harder to get eggs from farms to store shelves. Many regions have seen price hikes that seem unlikely to abate anytime soon. In some areas, grocery stores are placing limits on egg purchases to avoid stockpiling, further highlighting the fragility of supply. As consumers continue to see these impacts at the checkout, eggs could become an even more expensive staple, with scarcity in certain markets persisting. Number 7. Wheat Products Wheat products like bread, pasta, and baked goods are facing serious supply challenges due to global disruptions in wheat production. Ukraine, traditionally a major wheat exporter, is struggling with reduced output and difficulties in shipping because of the ongoing conflict. The war has not only cut off Ukraine's wheat exports, but also created logistical bottlenecks, forcing many countries to seek alternative sources of wheat at higher costs. This disruption has sent shockwaves through the global wheat market, pushing prices higher. Adding to this crisis are severe droughts and extreme weather conditions in other key wheat-producing regions such as the US, Canada, and parts of Europe. These areas have seen significant drops in wheat yields, which are further aggravated by unpredictable climate patterns. For example, droughts in North America have led to poorer soil conditions, reducing the amount of quality wheat harvested. Meanwhile, rising temperatures and inconsistent rainfall in Europe have created similar problems, limiting wheat production in areas that normally produce large amounts of grain. The ongoing shortages of wheat are leading to higher prices for everyday products. As wheat is a staple ingredient in many foods, consumers are seeing increases in the price of bread, pasta, and cereals. In some regions, bakeries are already struggling to source enough wheat and they are passing those costs on to customers. Additionally, feed prices for livestock are also increasing due to the high cost of wheat, which could have broader implications on the overall food industry.